Dude. You always get a clip so. at the end. Yo, what's up guys? So we're gonna talk about this Nolly double flip from my upstream part. And uh, yeah, basically the story with this one is, uh, you know, I, I've been wanting to get a Nolly double flip for my part. And uh, I'm like, I, I was like, it's one of those tricks that I like kind of consistent at, but like I'm not, I don't do it all the time. Um, so I knew I could do it on something like decent and I don't know. I just like, I couldn't find a good spot to do it on or maybe I like, I tried it on something and it wasn't working out. But anyway, um, so my friend Spencer, he like always would go out with these group of people to go film every weekend and I throughout the filming of this part I I didn't really have like and I still don't um don't really have a solid filmer that I go out with all the time so pretty much I I would just link up with whoever I knew was filming that day and just wherever I ended up I ended up and would try to get a trick there and it kind of worked out for uh the most part but honestly, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm a very uh, calculated list type person. Like all my parts, I always write out like trick lists of like certain spots, certain tricks I wanna get. And if the trick's not on that list, I'm not very motivated to get it. It, it could be a really sick spot that I end up at, but if I wasn't thinking that already, I don't care as much. Anyway, so I knew about this 10 stair. I, I had skated it previously, years before. I actually nollie flipped it in a line, like years before this nollie double flip. And back then that nollie flip was actually kind of hard for me. I remember I had to go like pretty fast at this set and the ground was not the nicest. And But overall it was a pretty good set. So there's not really much to complain about here. And it crossed my mind, I'm like, well, like, like even before this day, I was like, I could not only double flip that set probably, but is that even that cool? I mean, that's like, I already nolly flipped it. But then I remembered that footage never came out. <laughs> so no one even knew that. So I was like, all right, you know what? Or Spencer told me he was going to this spot one day and I'm like, okay, I think it's time. I think I should just get this nolly double flip done. And in my head, I thought it was gonna be, not easy, but definitely easier than it was because I'd already nolly flipped it. And you know, as years later, I um, like to think I was <laughs> better at skateboarding. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, nolly flip and nolly double flip are two completely different tricks. Like I, I'd like to say I can nollie flip pretty, pretty big things. Nollie double flip is like, eh. I definitely have much lower confidence in that one. So I get there pretty early in the day, which is, if anyone knows me, that's rare for me. I I don't like going to spots early. I, I'm like that guy who I work best at like the, the end the end of the day when I see the sun going down so like I purposely go to spots at the end of the day so I get the trick quicker because like I could be at a spot all day and I mean this story is pretty much going to prove my point I could be at a spot all day and won't even get close until I have to get close so I mean I basically just told you guys but so we get, we were there probably like noon or something in the afternoon, um, start trying the trick out. There was a lot of people skating it too. It was fun. It wasn't like just me. I wasn't getting tired. Like, you know, it was good. It was a good session. A lot of people were there and, um, yeah, we were all, there was probably about five or six of us trying tricks and, uh, start trying it pretty, pretty early on. And I knew that was a trick I wanted to get. So I, that was all I was trying the whole time. And I was getting kind of, I was getting kind of close. I think I was like sticking them with one foot 
but not like fully committing. So like, there's this thing with me where uh, if I don't commit to a trick within like the first five, 10 minutes or so, I, I just get in this, uh, this pattern, like my brain gets stuck. It forgets how to commit almost. Well, it does forget how to commit. And I just can't do it. Like no matter what I do, I can't get myself to do it. No matter how hard I want it. So that kind of happened here. <laughs> Every time I would go, it was like I wanted it, but like I just couldn't get myself to do it. It was, I don't know what it is. It's, it's crazy. You just get where I get stuck in some weird, weird pattern. And, uh, yeah, so we were all skating it, and then hours go on, hours go on. Eventually, either everyone landed their trick, or they gave up on their trick, or broke their board, or something. And I'm the last man standing. And, okay, this was in, like, the winter time, January or something, so it's probably, like, 5, 5.30. And it's almost dark. Everyone's so over it. Everyone's just, like... And keep in mind, this is not my crew. This is like my friends, friends that I'm meeting up with. So like, I'm not one to be like, oh no guys, come on, stay. I got this, like, it's, you know, I'm just tagging along. So everyone's like over it, everyone's sitting down and like, I could tell like they're bored, they wanted to go. It was almost dark anyway, so I don't blame them. But uh, yeah, another, I think I said this in the 360 and would heal video on that 12 stair, like literally last try. It was like almost too, it was about to be too dark to even film it. But I was like, all right guys, let's do it. I think I, I remember saying, I was like, if I don't land on this one, I'm done I'm over it. My board was so thrashed up from the ground too. Like I was so over it, I was so sore. And then just like magically, magically the first one I like, fully went for, like fully committed. I was like ready to either eat shit or just roll away. Fully went for it. I don't know how, I just overcame that stupid pattern in my head and uh, I landed it, like luckily. I just remember like being in the air, seeing my board come around and being like, yep, boom, this is it. Did it, rode away, and I almost like didn't even believe it. You can see how freaking relieved I was I rode into that grass and uh yeah that one felt super good it actually like that might have been one of the best nollie dub double flips ever done it like kind of looked cool the way it caught it down the set I didn't intend on that happening it just did <laughs> and um yeah it's, it's one of those it's one of the tricks in my part that people have like said something to me about They're like oh I like that nollie double flip I'm like I'm glad that was a big battle, <laughs> big mental battle. And uh, yeah, you know, and you can see the homies super supportive, giving me props and stuff when I landed it. And uh, yeah, that was definitely a clip. I was very stoked to walk away from and uh, have not been back to that set since because to be honest, there are way better 10 stairs out in LA. <laughs> But anyway, guys, yeah, that's uh, the story with that one. Um, stay tuned for the next story time. Peace. I don't like skating. The I don't like skating till the end of the day. I hate. It's so fucking hot, right? It's like the. It's like the pressure's off.